Our last Crimson Club Hall of Fame inductee is one of the most prolific throwing quarterbacks in Utah football history. Springville native Scott Mitchell broke virtually every record for passing and total offense during his Ute career from 1987 to 89. He then went on to have a 12-year career in the NFL. Mitchell was named the Deseret News and Gatorade Utah Player of the Year in 1986. He was also an honorable mention All-American throwing for 2,200 yards and 17 touchdowns as he led Springville High School to the state championship at a 12-0 record. After signing with the Utes in 1986 and taking a red shirt year, the rangy 6'6 southpaw split time at quarterback in 87 before taking over as the full-time starter the following season. A great team leader and an outstanding student of the game, Mitchell led the nation in total offense with 4,299 yards in 1988, putting up the most yards for a sophomore in NCAA history. Mitchell also led the country with 4,322 passing yards, setting school records in both categories in the process. He threw for 29 touchdowns that season and had the eighth best pass efficiency rating of 141. As a result, Mitchell was voted the Western Athletic Offensive Player of the Year by the conference writers and broadcasters in 1988. He was also a finalist for the Davy O'Brien Award, which honors the nation's top quarterback. Mitchell's best game in the 88 season was against Air Force when he threw for a school record 631 yards and five touchdowns. He also had 511 passing yards against Idaho State that year, which still ranks second on the single game ledgers. As a junior, Mitchell bettered his own Utah mark with 31 touchdown passes, including a school record six against UTEP. Mitchell racked up 3,211 passing yards that year, a tally that still ranks third at the U, despite missing the final two games with a knee injury. Mitchell elected to forego his senior year and declared himself available for the NFL draft. During his three-year career at Utah, Mitchell amassed 69 touchdowns and 8,981 passing yards and remains Utah's all-time leader in both categories. He also left as the Utes' all-time leader in total offense with 8,836 yards and 72 touchdowns. Mitchell still owns the top five marks for passing attempts in a game, the top two marks for attempts in a season, and the career attempts record. Mitchell also holds the school records for completions in a game, a season, and is second in career completions. Mitchell was a fourth round draft pick by the Miami Dolphins in 1990. He backed up Dan Marino for three years before taking the reins when the Hall of Famer was injured in 1993. He accounted for 1,773 yards and 12 touchdowns that season. Proving he was capable of being a starter in the NFL, Mitchell signed with the Detroit Lions as a free agent in 1994. After injuries forced him to the sideline during his first season, Mitchell regained his starting job in 95 and led Detroit to the NFL playoffs. He was voted to the Pro Bowl that year while setting franchise single season records with 4,338 passing yards and 32 touchdown passes. Mitchell took Detroit back to the playoffs in 1997, throwing for 19 TDs and 3,484 yards. Mitchell stayed with the Lions through the 1998 season. He then moved on to play for the Baltimore Ravens in 1999 and finished his career with the Cincinnati Bengals in 2001. In 97 games as an NFL quarterback, Mitchell accumulated 15,692 yards and 95 touchdowns through the air. He also ran for 11 scores. After retiring from the NFL, Scott joined the Roger Staubach Real Estate Development Company in Orlando, Florida. In January of 2008, Mitchell took over as head football coach at Springville High School. He was named the Utah Coach of the Year in 2009, leading his alma mater to a region title and state runner-up finish. Scott and his wife, Wendy, have five children, Joshua, Haley, Ashley, Madison, and Zach.
The decision I made to attend the University of Utah in 1986 was not a popular decision, but it was the best thing that I ever did in my life. Coming here helped me to form the person that I am. It helped me define uh, how I was going to live my life. And for that, I'm eternally grateful to this wonderful uh, institution. I love the game of football and I love the memories I have from it. And one of the greatest I had here was the time we beat BYU 57 to 28. It's uh, an unwritten rule that you always have to mention when you beat BYU in an acceptance speech. Uh, I don't hate the, uh, BYU at all. In fact, we got their best and brightest in Kyle Whittingham. I admire what he's done here, and uh, he's a great man and a great coach. Dr. Chris Hill came to the U just shortly after me, and he's never left, and he's turned this program into a national contender. Uh, he, he made uh, a reality what I saw as a dream. Uh, I've had great coaches, great teammates, great uh, teachers through my life and I, I cherish them all. They've, they were willing to share their time and their talents and their knowledge with me. Uh, I, I love my parents and I, I can't thank them enough for uh, all that they did and sacrificed for me. My mother always made me breakfast, she always made me dinner, uh, she was always there. My dad uh, sacrificed a tremendous amount to give me the best opportunities to play. And last but not least uh, are my wife and kids. Uh, it's a great privilege and honor to be a father and I love all of my children, Josh, Haley, Ashley, Madison, and Zach. And, and uh, most of all, I love my wife, Wendy. Uh, she's seen me at my best, she's seen me at my worst in all places in between and she loves me. And uh, she's truly a saint and tr just a wonderful woman and I love her so much. Thank you. Please help me welcome Scott Mitchell.